God, hallelujah. Let's close our eyes as we raise up our hands to the Lord and sing this song louder than anyone around us. What a dream you have been of King, Lord of love, you are one. What a dream you have been, King of King, Lord of love. You are I live in the Lord I live in the Lord I live in the Lord I live in the Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And you are Hallelujah! 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 Magnify the Lord. I saw the name of Jesus, magnify the Lord with me. I saw the name of Hallelujah, magnify the Lord. I saw the name of Hallelujah. Something great in my life. Something great in my life. Do something great in tonight, tonight. Hallelujah, be something great in my life. Something great in my life. Do something great in my life. Do something wonderful, do something, something wonderful in my life, do something wonderful in my life, tonight, hallelujah, do something wonderful in my life, something wonderful in my life, do something wonderful in my life. Now this song I want you to sing is a song for divine promotion. The louder you sing it, the better. The more aggressively you sing it, the better. You said, I am lifted, I am lifted by the Lord God. I'll cause sin and sorrow into the presence of God. Hallelujah, Lita, I am Lita, I am Lita, by the Lord God. I know sin and sorrow, into the presence of man. Are you Lita, Lita? Yes, like the Lord. I will cause sin and sorrow. To the presence of God, are you lifted? Hallelujah! Yes, yes, yes. Stand on that. Hallelujah! Things are getting better. Things are getting better. For the Lord is on the throne. Things are getting better. Things are getting better. Things are getting better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I shall 
山山，阿山来山山呐，阿山来山山呐，跳得哪里好得多。阿沙来山山，阿沙来山山，阿沙来山山。Raise up your right hand to the heavens. Say, my Father, divide my Red Sea tonight. Divide my Jordan tonight. In the name of Jesus, divide my Red Sea. Divide my Jordan. Tonight, in Jesus' name, we pray. Wonderful God, we thank you for another hour of power. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Tonight, you have promised that as many of your children as shall appear here, that they will have promotion galore. Let this be the lot of your children in the name of Jesus. Lay your hands upon our lives. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let's have a seat, beloved. God bless you. For the next few minutes, I want to share a few things with you from the scriptures. Thereafter, we're going to start some prayers here, which is the kind of prayers many people's destinies have been waiting for. So, if you are here tonight, you did not come by chance. Let's go straight away to the book of First Samuel, chapter two. First Samuel, chapter two. I am speaking for a few minutes on receiving the oil of favor. Receiving the oil of favor. First Samuel chapter two. Let's read from verse seven to eight. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and also lifteth up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust. There are so many people are going to be raised up from the dust here tonight, and lifted up the beggar from the dungeon. Where is he taking them to? To set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. Why? For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and He has set the world upon them. He will keep the feet of His saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by strength. Shall no man prevail? The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall it thunder upon them. So much for that. In the passage that we have read, it is clear that promotion belongs unto God. And as many people as are here today, and you are firstborn, and you are not finding your feet, it means that your promotion has been stolen or is being transferred. You need to pray here tonight. God bring that low and lift it up. He raised the poor out of the dungeon dust, and lifted up the beggar from among the dungeon to set them among princes. Under which canopy does the Lord do all this? You find that in Proverbs chapter twelve, Proverbs chapter twelve, verse two, Proverbs twelve two. It says this, Proverbs chapter twelve, verse two: A good man obtained favor. Of the Lord, a good man obtains favor of the Lord, but a man of wicked devices will he condemn. Divine favor is what every man, every woman being on earth needs, because the terrible situation that divine favor cannot turn around has not been produced. There is no amount of limitation that divine favor upon your life cannot remove. Read your Bible and read it well, beloved. By divine favor, many have won battles. By divine favor, many became heroes. Many slaves became kings. Captives turned to captors. Confirmed failures became successful under the oil of favor. I pray that the oil of favor shall fall upon you tonight, in the name of Jesus. By divine favor, beloved, you win the willingness of God to help you, to protect you, and to bless you. So any man or woman who is looking for complete victory, you need this oil of favor to be put upon your head. And so you want satanic agents to be your push too? You need that oil of favor upon your head. Even in times of temptation and in times of power that are able to pull people down, favor will sustain you. Even when others are falling and you are about, you are already stumbling, you want to fall, divine favor can lift you up. A servant who has won divine favor will be treated with honor and with respect. 
That kind of servant will enjoy the privileges of freedom. With the oil of favor on your head, it becomes so easy to have breakthroughs. Divine favor will open every door that the enemy has closed against you. It will remove all the obstacles on your way and make you a celebrity. With the oil of favor on your head, even if you are in a desert situation, it will change to Garden of Eden. And that divine favor will change your mountains to plain land. It turns your impossibilities to possibilities. It will make your wish to be God's command. So when you have divine favor, it's like you have the concentrated presence of God that can do all things for you. Without that oil of favor, tragedy can occur instantly and wipe a person out. I pray that the oil of favor will come upon your head tonight in the name of Jesus. Let your amen be loud and clear. Let your amen be loud and clear. A friend of mine, his wife was going to somewhere. Inside this large, luxurious bus, she was sitting at the front. After some time, some people said they wanted to ease themselves, so the bus stopped. As the bus stopped, people were going down and coming up. Then somebody entered. My friend's wife could not tell whether this person was one of those that got down or a new person. Nobody could tell. The person said, yes, madam. There is a friend you used to have in the primary school. The friend is sitting at the back. He said, you should come. I said, what's her name? He said, the woman I see you. Just, you just go and see, go and see. So just to please this man who was pressurizing her, go to the back, go to the back. She moved to the back. And that was the only thing that saved her. Immediately, she left that seat. A trailer lost control at the other side of the road and smashed into the luxurious bus in the exact place she was sitting. That's where the lorry went. The person that was sitting next to her on that seat, the correct description to use for what happened to him that day was that he perished. Because you can't see the hand, the head, everything is smashed together. Meanwhile, all she did at the back was just, just fell down when the bus tumbled. What she enjoyed was that oil of favor. That moved her away from where the tragedy was coming. When the van favor is upon your life, you will become someone who will command respect. When the divine favor is upon you, beloved, all the efforts your enemy is making will just be zero. When you see a man who becomes a mystery, divine favor can make you a mystery to those who are around you. You will be like a lamb amongst wolves and they cannot tear you to pieces. You become a spectacle, somebody that the angels will be watching with interest. Divine favor will make you a wonder to your contemporaries. With divine favor upon your life, beloved, whether Balaam comes against you with seven altars, seven bullets, and seven lambs, the Balaam will be defeated. And without that divine favor in your camp, there will be the shout of the king there always. With divine favor, every sound you make, God bottles it up and respects it. That divine favor is a red mark that the heavens will draw around you and the enemy cannot cross. Therefore, the key to uncommon promotion, the key to you being highly lifted, is for you to have the oil of favor on your head. There are different kinds of oils. There are positive oils and negative oils. There is oil that can come upon your head and your cup will run over. There is oil that can fall on your head, you become a prince, you become a king, or you become a prophet. But when the oil of favor falls upon you, if there is only one single person to be promoted, that person will be you. If it's only one person getting the contracts, that person will be you. If it's only one person that's going to bless there with the abundance, if that favor is upon you, you'll be the person. When divine favor is upon you, they will they will be sing they will single you out for blessings. They just pick you out of there, say you come. It will this favor will distinguish you in this world with so many people. And you will stand out without being crushed. When the favor envelopes you, it will announce you wherever you go. And this is why it's important to pray the prayers we're going to pray here tonight. When the favor is upon you, there will be open levels for you, irrespective of your circumstances. Irrespective of your circumstances. We need to understand how to draw upon the oil of favor. And once you begin to draw upon that oil, and you're able to provoke divine favor on your behalf, your destiny will be beautified and God will be glorified and you move forward. So the key to that promotion is favor. The oil of favor. The power of favor. The thing that comes upon you. And when it comes upon you, you outshine others. You outrun those who have been running ahead of you. 
That's why Proverbs chapter 22, verse 1 has this to say. Proverbs 22, verse 1. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and loving favor rather than silver and gold. When you have favor, you don't need to bother about the silver and the gold. If you must have uncommon success, it is important that you have favor. A lady, after prayer in one of her crusades abroad, eventually find a job as a doctor somewhere. There was a lot of argument before they could employ her. Because there wasn't a single black doctor in the whole of that hospital. But by when she got to the interview and they set up their panel, she competed with other white doctors. Out of all the five people that interviewed her, only one person gave her 95%, the other 98, 98, 98. So they employed her. She was the most junior doctor. She worked with professors. And there they are treating patients whose cases are very terrible, terminal cases. So every morning during the ward run, when all these doctors go around patient bed by bed, they look at the case file of people, they talk, 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 talk. They say, okay, what are we going to do for this patient now? These professors will rack their brain together and say, let's do this. All of a sudden, this lady will talk. The name is Funke. Funke will say, sir, why don't we try this, sir? Instead of this thing that you are saying. So let's try it. And each time she opened her mouth, and they carry out our own suggestion, the patients get well. The oil of favor was upon her. Up to the level that now, anytime the that these professors were doing their word run, and the patients look and saw that Funka is not with them, so why is that black woman? Because when she talks, what she says is backed up by heaven. That is the oil of favor. Right now, the Lord has promoted her in the place because of this oil of favor. But that's not all. It's a small problem. The oil of favor, although dropped on somebody's head, can be stolen. And an ordination from birth can be taken away just as virtues are transferred. This is where the warfare is not necessary. To possess that which you have lost, to capture back what the enemy has stolen, to possess what is yours. Some people, all their lives, they have not even smelled what is their own. The enemy never allowed them to see it, let alone for the enemy to steal it, since you don't even have it, when the person does not have it. The prayers we are going to pray here tonight, they are prayer, prayers permitted by the Holy Ghost. And as many people as will pray this with anger, they will recover their oil of favor that has been stolen. And those who require fresh oil of favor from the Lord, they shall receive it. Rise up on your feet now. All eyes closed. Rise up on your feet, all eyes closed. As many people as are here tonight, and you want uncommon promotion. As many people as are here tonight, and you are first boy, you are not finding your feet. Make sure you pray like a mad prophet. Make sure nobody's voice is louder than yours in this place. Because already this place has been surrounded by the angels of the living God. The angels with their anointing oil of favor to begin to pour out on people's heads. But you need to pray like Brian Bartimaeus. One and mad temporarily. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Woman, he says, shut up. Die in your blindness. He refuse to keep quiet. The oil of favor we are praying for tonight can touch anywhere in the world. Anywhere. Listen, beloved. There is nowhere the oil of favor can you, cannot bring you into. I knew a woman in this church. He asked took her passport and went to this very tough embassy. And she wanted a visa. That day they just chased everybody away. They didn't give to anybody. She was not at all yet. Then one white man saw her. I said, hello, how are you? What are you doing here? He said, I want to visa. I said, what do you need it for? He said, Oga, I want to go and buy shoes. I want to start selling shoes. He said, we, we, do you have enough money? He said, I don't even have anything. I just want to get the visa. When I get money, I'll go. Normally when you say things like that, that's the end of the visa. They won't give it to you. I said, okay, you sit down here. Don't join that king over there. Never met him before. Doesn't know him. The man went inside. Came out again. Took a passport. I said, come back at 2 o'clock. Oil of favor. Oil of favor. You will shout this loud and clear. Strong man! Still in my favor! Yeah! In the name of Jesus! Dasalika! Rrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Something is happening, something is happening, something is happening. In Jesus' name we pray. Hmm. <laughs> I think we should improve on that prayer. I think we should improve on that prayer. Hmm. That particular prayer. The angels that are surrounding us, they are subject to enter into the mist. Therefore, I want you to be, to be more serious. Be more serious. Masikatunde. Ribo sekaya boshendera bakanda, na ribo sepela kaya boshendera basanta, de karibo sepanda kaya boshanta, ribo siya bukapanda kanta, mana kare bo sepanda kaya boshanta, pasempo la kaya boshendera basante kanta, masempo kaya boshendera bo. Amen. As you pray this prayer a second time, if you are that woman, you threw your menstrual pad into somewhere, and all of a sudden it had disappeared. You didn't know who took it away. Please just quietly find a way to the altar and bear your knees. Just vanish. You didn't know who took it away. Find a way to the altar and bear your knees there. Everybody will shout this loud and clear again. Throng me! Jesus, oh yes, the prayer be satika put on the side. Ribo sopende kaya boshente. Look at what is happening here tonight. Masika tende kaya boshente. Jesus, in Jesus then we pray. You the sisters at the front here, begin to shake your head vigorously, so that your blood that is in the altar of the enemy shall be recovered tonight. So that what the enemy has stolen from you shall be returned sevenfold. Because the Bible says if a thief shall be caught stealing, it shall return sevenfold what he has stolen. Shake that head vigorously. Yes, as the power of God is coming upon you, the same power is penetrating into the whole of your body. Say this loud and clear. Barriers to my favor. Clear away. In the name of Jesus, let that be clear. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I thank you for this, your children at the front here. I recover your blood from any altar of darkness. And I decree that any good oil that has been stolen from you will be returned. Beginning from today, you will begin to move forward. Every animal from moving forward shall be disgraced. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's go back to your seat rejoicing now. A great victory has happened in your life today. Say, Oh God, arise! And move me from labor to favor. Can I hear the sister saying this loud and clear? Is that the libraries the sisters can say today? Brothers, shout it louder than the sisters. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. Moving from labor to favor. In the name of Jesus. Masete kate la kaya veshende rabakanta. Yes. From labor to favor, from labor to favor, from labor to favor. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh -huh. There are people here tonight, that they are coming here tonight. It's like they are attending their bad day. Glory be to the name of the Lord. For the Lord shall give you uncommon promotions, uncommon favor. All of favor! Look at my head! In the name of Jesus, I will forever look at my head, look at my head, look at my head, look at my head. In Jesus' name we pray. All firstborns who are here, lay your hand on your head now. Let me tell you what will happen. 
when we are praying this prayer, you may feel dizzy. Don't worry. Let's continue praying. Because an operation is going on already. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. I someone here, the day you were born, they investigated by dark powers what kind of person you would be. And they found that you are supposed to be a great person. But then, right on that day, the greatness was falling away. Right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And the yoke of stagnancy is not broken. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody shout this loud and clear. Especially you, the first born that are here. Say, my season of favor. Appear by fire. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Let my season of favor appear by fire. Open your mouth and say, fight. That's why Jesus brought you here. Oh, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. The last thing I should tell you, that if you pray this particular prayer I want to call, with mad violence, it shall be to you as you have said it. Say, every good thing that I am looking for, begin to look for me now. In the name of Jesus, let all the good things I'm looking for begin to look for me, begin to look for me. Desate aboka, ri lete sente aboka yaba. In Jesus' name we pray. I decree tonight, by the decree of the God of heavens, the God whom heaven of heavens cannot contain, that any cloud of darkness gathered around your destiny shall scatter. They shall scatter. They shall scatter. In the name of Jesus. The power of God will pull you out of every pit of sorrow. Out of every pit of failure. In the name of Jesus. Every opposition you are facing now shall be your gateway to testimony. Shall be your gateway. Shall be your gateway. Shall be your gateway. Shall be your gateway to testimony. In the name of Jesus. The king of kings who deposits treasures in the belly of a fish. We give you a turn around breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. All the mouths that have mocked you. We turn around and congratulate you. In the name of Jesus. The thunder of God. We frighten your enemies to surrender. In the name of Jesus. God shall fight for you. And you shall power above every circumstance. In the name of Jesus. Beginning from tonight, you shall carry the perfume of divine favor. Receive the perfume of divine favor. Receive the perfume of divine favor. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I shout this louder than anyone here. Every power that does not want to let my favor go. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As we enter into the Holy Ghost, let's raise up your two hands to the Lord and sing this loud and clear. Let there be glory and all. Now I'm praising. Glory and all. Now to Jesus, let there be glory, let there be honor, glory, honor to let there be glory, let there be glory. Oh, 
I just come to pray the Lord. I just come to pray the Lord. I just come to pray His holy name. I just come to pray the Lord. He turned me to my life on a very strange day. He made my and made me all. Today, I just come to pray. I just come to pray. I just come to pray. Not I just come to pray. Oh, I just come to pray. He's only in my. I just come to pray. The Lord, He came into my life. On a very special day, He washed my sin and made me all a new. And that's the reason why I sing to Him today. I just come to pray. With Jesus, I will meet Him. I meet Him all the world. You see it, and He said. We find it in the dark. We have, we draw our man unto me. Jesus, I live in the dark. I want to see how he said, we find it in the dark. Victory. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God, who has given us victory. We are victorious. We are victorious. Yes, yes, we are victorious. Yes, glory be to God, who has given us victory. Oh, victory! We are victorious. Yes, glory be to God, who has given us victory. Oh, victory! We are victorious. Yes. Now sing this loud and clear. Let God arise and His enemies be scattered. Let God arise and be scattered. Let God arise and His enemies be scattered. Let God, let God arise. Hallelujah! Yes, God, God, God. Yes, 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 Turn to somebody now and speak to the life of that person and let the person speak to your life too. The louder and the more aggressively you pray for that person, the faster your own prayers will be answered. Say pronouncements contrary to your destiny. Die. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray for that person. Kill the pronouncements that are contrary to the destiny of that person. In Jesus' name we pray. Look for a second person now. Every enemy of your promotion. Scatter. In the name of Jesus. And the enemy of the promotion will scatter. In Jesus' name we pray. Turn to a third person. Every power. A sign to silence your voice. Can you say this loud and clear? 
In the name of Jesus, those powers must be removed and must be shaken off by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. I'll ring yourself now into a circle of seven. Circle of seven. Make sure we need to move about to get a circle. We need to get a circle. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Let one of the seven get inside the circle now. Or if you can't get into the circle, all of you point at that person. If the person cannot get inside the circle, all of you point at the person. The first person. You will pray for this person like this. And the people at the center will be shouting a loud amen. Every power that wants to bury your glory. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. In Jesus name we pray. There is somebody inside that circle. Within the next 10 days, an uncommon breakthrough is coming your way. Let the second person get into the circle. Destiny terminators. A sign against this brother, this sister. Clear away. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the destiny terminators. Masikato lakaya bo shendera bo kontia. Ria kende ketendea. In Jesus name we pray. There is someone in that circle now. There is something you have been pursuing for a long time. Before this coming Sunday, the Lord will make it available to you in a miraculous way. Let the third person get inside the circle. And you pray for this person like this. Power of answered witchcraft. A sign against this person. I bury you tonight. In the name of Jesus, bury this power tonight. In the name of Jesus, my poor Sepul Katina, bury tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. There is somebody inside that circle. Foreign benefits are coming your way. And not only that, there is a strong man that has been harassing your destiny. A strong man has been silenced. Let the fourth person get inside the circle. You pray for that person like this. Oh, star of his destiny. Arise and shine. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Now must go and arise and shine. In Jesus, then we pray. Somebody is inside that circle. The Lord is going to usher you into uncommon wealth within the next few days. I congratulate you. Let the fifth person get inside the circle. Pray for that person like this. Where they say your road is blocked. It is a lie. Move forward by fire. In the name of Jesus, move forward by fire. Yes. In Jesus name we pray. Somebody in that circle, you have been threatened by all kinds of powers of darkness. But one by one, the angel of God would kill them. Let the sixth person get inside the circle. And you pray for this person like this. Every witchcraft bird. Flying for your sake. Cash land. In the name of Jesus. Commanded bird to crash land. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. There's somebody in that circle that very, very soon the voices of congratulation shall fill your cup. Let the seven person get inside that circle. We pray for the person like this. Every arrow fired against your progress. That fire 
in the name of Jesus, let the hour backfire. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody in that circle, those who have been laughing at you, will come and congratulate you very soon. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Raise up your right hand to the heavens as you sing this song loud and clear from your heart. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let your healing power. Let your healing power. Let it fall. On me, let it fall on me. Let your healing power fall. Let it fall on me. Let it. Let your glory power. Let your glory power. Let it fall, let it fall on me. Let your glory power. Let us share the grace and fellowship.